going, guys? Welcome back to another video. And today, even though I am wearing full Patriot gear, we are talking about baseball today. Um, today, I am just giving my reactions um, on this Hall of Fame class of 2018 for Major League Baseball in Cooperstown, New York. Uh, the class is awesome. There's four new candidates, all very deserving. I'm going to give my thoughts. I'm going to give you guys a brief bio on each player if you have not already found out about them. And I'm just going to kind of give you guys my reactions, tell you who I think should have gotten in, because I think there are a few other players that should have gotten in. Maybe not this year, but in the next few years should get in. And I'm just going to give you guys my little reaction. I'm not really going to get too deep into it. It's going to be a rather short video today, but short and sweet. Let's hop right into it. First person to get into the Hall of Fame was Jim Tome. He was a five-time All-Star. He won a Silver Slugger. He had a lifetime batting average of .276, 612 home runs, 2,328 hits, and 1,699 RBIs, almost 1,700 RBIs. Very deserving. He would have been on my ballot if I had the opportunity to vote. He definitely would have been on my ballot. Next person, probably the one that was the shoe-in this year, first year on the ballot, Chipper Jones, he won an MVP. He was an eight-time All-Star, two-time Silver Slugger, and in 1995, he won a World Series championship with the Atlanta Braves. He had a lifetime 303 batting average with 468 home runs, 2,726 hits, and 1,623 RBIs. Not much to really say about this pick. This one was, he was basically a shoe and I believe he got 97% of the vote. The people that didn't vote for him, I don't know what they were doing. He should have gotten 100% of the vote, but very deserving. The next one is Vladimir Guerrero. He won an MVP. He was a nine-time All-Star and won eight Silver Sluggers. He had a lifetime batting average of 318, 449 home runs, 2,590 hits, and 1,496 RBIs. Another one that's very deserving. All three of those guys so far would have been on my ballot if I had the opportunity to vote. And last but not least, we have the closer, Trevor Hoffman. Coming from the University of Arizona, seven-time All-Star, 2.87 ERA. He had 601 career saves, which at a time was the most saves until Mariano Rivera overtook him. 1,133 strikeouts, and he had a win loss. Per, he had a win loss of 61 wins, 75 losses. Again, he was a closer, so not a lot of wins to be made. But he could have gotten more losses. All four of those guys absolutely would have been on my ballot if I were have been voting. There are two more I would have had on my ballot. I would have had Edgar Martinez, who is going into his last year on the ballot. He, I believe, ended with around 70% of the vote. I think. Don't quote me on that, but I'm almost positive it was around 70% of the vote. Hopefully next year, his last year on the ballot, he will make it into the Hall of Fame. I feel like he is very deserving, revolutionized the designated hitter role in the American League. And the other one was Kurt Schilling. This one's kind of more of a biased opinion just because, you know, he didn't have the best regular season numbers, but in the postseason, he really turned it on. He was exceptional in the postseason. So that was a bit of a biased one because he's a Red Sox um, at heart and a diamond back, but got to go with him as well. That's the end of the video, guys. Like I said, short and sweet. Thank you guys all so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you tomorrow.